Like that. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? So we are live, ready to ride. So as soon as we get a few more people in here, then we'll do a show and tell. Okay. So we got some glowy rocks that I would like to show. <coughs> this is our light. And here are our rockies. Look at that. Tell me that ain't cool. So that's pink or rose quartz. I'll probably turn on the light first and then I'll turn off the lights, you know, for the show and tell. But yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Just a few rocks I collected today. Plus, plus uh, if you know uh, Gator Sky Exploration, good channel to go to, man. He's got good music. And uh, Show Me Sasquatch, there's a good one. Or Paris, there's a good one. Catfish, there's a good one. Catfish Corner. There's many out there. Anyway. So, today we're doing, well, we already did rock hounding. So, now that the rock hound's over, we're going to do a little show and tell. Found some cool petrified wood today. Found some big chunks. Huge. <laughs> Let's get a little light. So we got pieces like this, really shiny. I don't know if you can see it, the shine. But that's petrified wood. Sparkly. <laughs> see what happens when we hit it with the light. Too much light, huh? See, this one don't do it. I wish it did. <laughs> See the difference? The difference between this petrified wood. All right. And where's it at? Quartz. So here's some rose quartz. I didn't even wash it up yet. But it's pink rose quartz. But check it out. So we're going to hit it with the light. And then you become a wizard. <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. I thought that was really neat. Now, if they got colors inside of these, like this one, this one's got some color in it, right? See that yellow? Look at that. You see that? Tell me that ain't cool. Oh, well, you got to hit it with the light just right. So yeah, really cool stuff. And then let's see. Oh, and we got stuff like this. Here's some petrified. So I think some of these things are pretty cool. Hey, Paris. Mr. B. How you doing? <clears throat> oh, you want to see a really cool one? Check this out. <clears throat> so this one, I might just send to you, Gator. This one just may be for you. And I got one for Sash Squash, too. So let me get those out real quick. Because I, I like these. <laughs> I 
All right, so this one right here, as soon as I get their mailing addresses or PO boxes, whatever, I'm gonna send them these, you know, token of my appreciation. But so this one right here is gonna be for a uh, show me Sasquatch. Check that out. So let's see if we can get a well, <laughs> blinded myself on trying to so you can see it better. Well, it's pink, all right? But I thought that was really cool of how it's in there. It's inside this rock. Just a regular rock. And, uh, yeah, and it's pink. Can't see it that good on there. But it's got an outline dark pink, and then inside is like a light. So I thought that was pretty cool. So this one right here I'm saving, all right, for Show Me Sasquatch. Whenever I get a hold of him better. <laughs> and then Gator. This one's for you, buddy. Check it out. So it's petrified wood. And these crystals are black, purple, and orange, purple, like a uh, gold, so gold and purple and black. It's really neat. So this whole section right here is all glittery, like got crystals on it. So it's really cool. Look at that. So Gator, whenever I get a hold of you, I'm gonna send you your rock. Oh, look at that! It looks like a face, huh? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <clears throat> so check you out, Gator. That's going to be yours. <clears throat> so, all right. But yeah, so that's that one. Yeah, all of it's on the ranch. The boss said I could have whatever I want. He said, rocks? You can have all the rocks you want. I looked at him and said, are you sure? Because I will grab every single petrified log out here. <laughs> he just looked at me and laughed and said, you can have all the rocks that you want, boy. I said, thank you, sir. I will work for you until your lot is cleared and just rock free. Because, like, man, there's quartz, rose quartz, like big pieces like this, smooth rock. Hold it to a light and it glows pink. There's yellow ones. There's uh, all sorts of different quartz I found. Green quartz. Like, man, I want to find the, the sharp ones, the crystal looking ones, right? I want to find those, but I haven't. I found a bunch of smooth ones, you know what I mean? Like ones for like necklaces and stuff. So I thought those right there were pretty cool. But yeah, I got lots of rose quartz everywhere. <clears throat> like this one ain't nothing. That's just a little flat piece. Imagine the whole rock to this, like the whole roundness to it. It'll be about that big. All the way around, like the size of my fist of ro pink rose quartz. And then there's a bunch of little ones, probably about eh, about that big, like necklace size, you know. And uh, they're all smooth, and you can see through them. Some of them got veins. Speaking of which, I even got a surprise for you guys. <laughs> so out on my property in Winslow, right? So I got property out there, uh, well, for about the next three months. A lot went down, and uh, I was to lose it, but... Anyways, I'm here at this ranch house and uh, I could save up and get property again or whatever. You know what I mean? So, but I did find this, a bunch of this, and I believe that they're diamonds, raw diamonds. Now it's got pink little line, veins in it. All right. Now I looked it up and stuff about diamonds, the raw diamonds, and, uh, Yeah, these right here, you can see, like, this one right here is almost clear. I know it don't really look like it on the camera, but, like, in person, it's, watch this, all right? You thought that other rock was cool? Look at this one. <laughs> see how that glows? Now, that's a different glow, you know what I mean? So, I've been doing some research and stuff, and I do believe that this right here is a diamond. So... It's my 
that wizard wand right there. But yeah, so there's a bunch of these on the property, and you can they're so transparent, you can see through it without a light. Like it's got little pink veins in it, and like the light barely hit it and it glows from way over here. Look at that. It'll glow from a distance. And it's really cool because see how it glows, but not like that one. But the closer you get to the light to shine through it, oh yeah. Okay. Look at that. Tell me that ain't cool. The way the light hits it, you get that yellow. If you turn it, shine it just right. Look. Where do you go? There it is. So how the light reflects off of it. So people can't say that ain't cool. You know what I mean? I like that. It's weird. It's just how the light hits it and reflects and it makes it do its thing. But yeah, so I thought that was pretty neat. You know how they glow. So the more transparent they are, I noticed the more shine you got, the brighter it is. So I was thinking I might make like lamps, you know, for like kids rooms, you know, for the children and, you know, for couples or whatever. And like make little lamps. So when you turn on the little light bulb, beep, it'll, your rock will glow. I thought that'd be pretty cool, you know, as a business thing. So I don't know. I, I heard petrified woods worth a lot, but man, I don't know anybody that's buying it. So if you know anybody that is willing to pay for petrified wood and not jip me, you know, then, uh, yeah, I might be interested in that. So here's some more pieces uh, of petrified wood. <clears throat> this one's got black crystals in it. See that? All through it right there. See if we can hit it with the light. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I thought these right here were pretty cool. But this stuff's everywhere. You know what I mean? Like... I could walk five feet and five, like, probably 20 of these every, like, five, ten feet. Hey, Caden, A Street. Glad you can make it, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another chunk of petrified wood. And uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so this one right here, I thought was pretty neat. It's pink inside this rock. So, yeah. Hold on. I'll make room. <laughs> All right, so I didn't even soak these in water yet. I was going to do these in water, petrified wood. Some of them are still dirty, but... You get the idea of it. There, there's got green right there at that bottom right there. Boop. It's like green crystal light. It's really neat. But that's some petrified wood. <clears throat> so here's these. I don't even know what this one was. It's, it's multicolored. So we're going to check it with the flashlight. See how it does. See? Not a good one. Not a good one. I mean, the outside looks pretty colorful and pretty. Someone might like it, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the glow. But you see the difference? No glow. All right. So, that one is, I see if this one. See, that one's got a little glow. Check that out. See that? It's got some pink in there, but. Look at that. Move my finger. Look at that. Got some pink. 
do that. So no one could say that ain't cool. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's cool as hell. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. B. Let's see who else out here. Oh, Nicholas. Hey, how you doing, brother? Another corner, huh? <laughs> I want to show you guys the the. My wife found this one, and she says it looks like the Eiffel Tower. Check this out. Look at this one glows. Look at that. See if we can get. Yeah. So you got to hit it from behind so you can get those patterns to show. But the patterns will show straight through that rock. So, like I said, you know, definitely looking at like lamps and stuff. I might I might do something with this. I don't know yet. But my wife found this one, and this one right here is what we call the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty neat. Hi. There's me wife. Oh, honey, check it out. This one right here. I'm giving the gators. So we're going to check this one out again, guys. So, petrified wood with purple crystals. Look at that. I wish this one glue. <laughs> tell me that don't even look, tell me that looks like a gator, huh? <laughs> it's a gator head. <laughs> But yeah, so that's one right there. You found anything similar if you was looking at a Russell put it in stone? I'm gonna have to look that up. Like I said, uh A Street, he knows more about these rocks than I do. So he did a little college in it for rocks or Whatever it was he did. I can't recall, brother. Can't recall. Sorry. Apologize, man. But uh yeah, he, he was the first one that got me interested in rocks. Like, yeah, I didn't look at rocks until yeah, until he showed me, you know, and was like, Oh, check these out. And then I was like really interested. And then I started finding all sorts of beautiful rocks, and I'm like, Where have I been my whole life, bro? But yeah, <clears throat> so I heard they're worth money, but like I said, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm thinking of a couple projects. I mean, might do some rock giveaways. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I might do that. I'm going to do like once a week or something like that, do a rock giveaway or something. Maybe every two weeks or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so these are cool rocks. And then we have, let's see. So I like testing them. This one right here is a green stone that I found. And uh, let's check that out. Nope. See how it don't shine through? Very different, huh? But in person, though, this right here is a cool rock. It's got little white lines in it and stuff, so I thought it was going to glow. But it's okay. So, found this one right here. This is a gold one, right? Well, let's test it. All right. See if we get that shine of beauty. Bam. See the difference? Crazy. See the yellow glow? Look at that. Huh. The yellow glow. Welcome to WWR, Worldwide Rock Federation. 
this is my wand. Actually, it's my microphone. Hey, that's another idea. Maybe I should do a microphone with a glowing rock, huh? Huh? That'd be neat, huh? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Rose quartz, gotcha. <laughs> Chill. I, man, I'm telling you, there's so much rose quartz out here. It's ridiculous. But uh, do you want one that's small, like, you know, like this for like jewelry like type stuff? Or do you want like a nice one that you can throw a uh, light to it? And you'll have a big shining ball. I'm probably thinking you want the big shiny ball, right? <laughs> so this right here's a little red quartzy. So, but we're gonna test it and see if it's transparent enough to consider it to me beautiful. -er. <laughs> so we'll throw that on there. There it is. Look. Uh, Bam, look at that. Now tell me that don't look like big red in the sky with the ring around it. Tell me that don't look like a red planet's eye. I see you. Check that out. It's like a little gem in there with a circle of beauty. You know what I mean? This is that stuff I'm talking about. This right now, that's cool. But it only glows like that in the light. Let me turn it off, see? Look at that. That's amazing, huh? Find beautiful stuff out here. Hey, Paul. Which one's Paul? Is Paul online? Or is he just sitting next to you? <laughs> but yeah, tell me that ain't cool. And that that don't look like Planet X up there, you know? The big red, Kachina? You know, the destroyer? It's like it's looking. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely might do some more rocks. You know what I mean? People seem to like them. So I'm going to put that with my sky videos too. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. Forgot. Since my neighbor Paul is in the chat with, uh, brother Caden, <laughs> uh, I'm going to do my mask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, All right. Hi. So this right here is for my neighbor, Paul. This is why I got this. So it reminds me of him because... I got to remember, remember the 5th of November because that's his birthday. So hold that, honey, and we'll load these up. <laughs> hey, Katniss. All right, so. Do you load it I hit? Yep. I doubt we'll remember anything after this, but. <laughs> All right. So good. <laughs> and as Paris reminded me, this is my channel. And, right. And, uh, Basically, all I'm going to say is if you don't like marijuana, oh, well. Okay, it's legal here. And it's homegrown, so don't throw stones. Eh, but it's homegrown. So 
you don't have to worry about, you know, from the dispensary, you know, for pesticides, whatever they spray it in, genetic modification. Now, I ain't going to lie. I did smoke, you know, that stuff for a while. But, uh, yeah, this right here is homegrown from California. So. Here you go, honey. <clears throat> That's our canines battling it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and go. And this area is a breather hole back here. Oh, it shoots out the side right there. <laughs> you opened the hole. <laughs> <coughs> Damn. Boxer, <coughs> that's revelations. <coughs> and mommy, you're a good baby. Oh, good babies, huh? And this is Rusty, she's the bandit right there. She's the what, a, what a Paul call it? But yeah, bandit. this is this, yeah, the bandit. This right here is our little street thug, you Houdini. Know what I mean? and Houdini. She gets she can get out of anything. But yeah, Except that's, for this kennel, she hasn't got out of it yet. But yeah, so that's Rusty. That's the daughter of the other one. So that's Boxer. And then the baby brown one, which is bigger, obviously, is a uh, mixed uh, Boxer Massive. <coughs> but they're they're awesome. So, yeah, Gangster. That's our gangster right there. Street hood, hoodlum right there is Rusty. Okay? So, yeah. So, uh the reason why she got that name is because she likes to break out and just roam around, does whatever the hell she wants, come in and out whenever she pleases, and go to the next property and start taking toys. Merking their rabbits. Too. Yeah, merking rabbits all the time. I did. I would wake up, all right, and she'd have a rabbit head on my pillow. Can you believe that? I would wake up, and there's a rabbit head on my pillow, just the head. You know, body would be demolished. Yeah, the body the body be demolished or outside. But she, I got onto her and stuff, and I told her, not on my pillow, daddy's pillow. So she started leaving them outside on the steps. <laughs> like every morning we come out and there's a rabbit headless. Just okay. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, she loves rabbits. But yeah, she'd go to the neighbor's house and take food and like start nipping, you know, around, you know, grabbing things like uh, uh chew toys or whatever. Like, man, horrible. And then she'll jump inside his, uh, uh, on top of his, uh, air conditioner, right? We'll be chilling in the living room and she jumps up on the air conditioner and she just, and then his cat, right? Ninja, badass cat. This is the coolest cat I've ever seen, right? Except for Monkey, my black cat. Ninja's up there, though. Ninja's tied. We'll say that. They're tied. So, coolest cat you ever know, man. So this cat jumps up there and just stares at the cat or the dog, and they're just staring at each other like, he's like, what the hell is it? You better not come in here. <laughs> but yeah, so that's Rusty. She does whatever the frick she wants. But now she's here, and yeah, so, so far she's being a good girl. Uh, Rev, she wants to take a bite out of crime out of the goat. <laughs> so she don't go near the goat because she got... Da, da, da. <laughs> and scares him and stuff. Which today he's been kind of pushy. So we're even gonna take a oh, tour. No, no, no. He's been more than okay, pushy. more than pushy. He get his ram horns and he's been. That's, that's probably him knocking at the door. Go check. <laughs> but that's probably the goat. But we're gonna go do a tour in a minute, and uh, we'll probably show you the goat. Yes, the anonymous mask, bro. And uh, like I said, the only reason why I got it is because my neighbor. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. It's all fun and games, you know. But uh, nonetheless, it's a it's a family thing. Love my neighbor, Paul.
Lemon Hayes looking good. Oh, man. You lost your G13. Dang. Yeah, my I had a, uh, what was it? Lemon, per, lemon Hayes? That's what I had. Still got some of it, too. So I like to mix it with this other stuff. And, man, fire. So, yep. Promised him a friend. Sure did. Matter of fact, uh, if it wasn't for neighbor Paul, that guy would probably be in the freezer because my boss. You know what I mean? So I stopped the boss from putting him in the freezer. <laughs> so. Wasn't Billy? Wasn't Billy? No, he's definitely down. Yeah, so. You guys want to see Billy? Let's show him Billy. And then we'll get back to some rocks. Matter of fact, there's some rocks outside I can show you real quick. <laughs> so let's see. Let's set this down. All right. Really? <laughs> Careful with the phone, right? No. What's going on? All right, here we go, guys. Okay, so I'm on a Chromebook, so you guys are coming with me. We're going to go see Billy and a little bit of the sky and see what we got today. <laughs> I guess you get a little tour of the house, huh? <laughs> so this right here is the ranch house. So this right here is my boss's place. So uh -huh. I'm just staying out here as ranch hand Monday through Friday, mostly seven days a week until I get all the stuff moved out from the house. Uh -huh. So let's see where he's at. Follow me, guys. A little windy out. There he is. Billy. You guys see him? There's Billy. Say hi, Billy. Say hi, Billy. Yeah, he's grumpy. He's got the engine. So there's run because he's gonna follow us here he comes <laughs> open the door <clears throat> we'll shut the door real quick <clears throat> so there's bill <clears throat> i'm gonna do a little sky real quick see how this i don't know how this uh chromebook records we're still online let's check it out okay i think we're still online so we're gonna check out the clouds real quick see what we got all right i don't know how this camera goes, but see him spraying. <laughs> Looks kind of smoggy. <laughs> There's another one. All right, Billy. You're gonna have to let me in, buddy. All right, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay. Say goodbye, Billy. All right, Billy. <laughs> no, Billy. Bye, Billy. <clears throat> Put the towel on the floor. <laughs> All right. You got the hot spot. <clears throat> Whew. all right let me know if that came in clear so i don't i don't really know i guess i can get online on uh, the phone check it out hey baby you want to go on the live stream and see if it was glitchy or anything like that hopefully it wasn't too glitchy too bad but uh yeah <clears throat> Let me check out the chat. Mm. 
Big loves cat. Let's see. <laughs> yep, old Billy. Yep, just wanting some love and so. So, hey, how, how did it turn out? Can't were you guys able to see it? Didn't glitch out or nothing like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, so do I. I got this Verizon. Uh, what are they called? Fi uh, Fire Stick? No, ma'am. What? what is that called? What? The hotspot thing box? What is that? What does she call it? Like right. here in the middle of freaking nowhere. My driveway is a dirt road, right? And it's seven miles from the house to the road. You know what I mean? And then it's like another, what, 21 miles to town. So we're out here in the middle of nowhere. All right. <laughs> but we do got power. You know what I mean? So that's good. <laughs> yeah, very compressed. Definitely. Very compressed, inspired, Mr. B. Yeah, Billy just likes lovings. He loves lovings. So thank y'all. I'm glad that worked out. So we're going to, ah, more rocks. I'm going to show you something. Let's see. This is how it looks. It was all right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so here's another petrified wood. All right. Yeah, way out. So here's another one. So this right here is like a shiny white crystal. You see that? Like a nice little patch right here, this white piece. It's like a crystal. Yeah, it's some petrified wood. So like I was saying, it'd be really cool to find some petrified wood that uh, I could shine a light through. I doubt I'll find any, but I, I thought that right there would be pretty cool. And then here's another rock that we found. So we're about to do the light test on this one. See what we can get out of it. Let's check it out. Bam. <laughs> so that's a cool one. That one glows. A little yellow. So I believe this right here is a uh, yellow quartz. <coughs> quartz glows real good. So got a few more specimens. All right, let's check these out. So here's another one. Again, I haven't washed it yet. See the dirt still on it. But like when you wash them, they really shine. So here's this one. We're going to do the rock test just to see if it grows, glows all pretty like. So stick it on there. Yeah. Uh. 
try and get that yellow. So yeah, very cool stuff. You know I mean? <laughs> Let's see. Here's another one. Let's see what this one does. Yep. Look at that. So I like how the color turns out. It's like a floating rock it looks like, huh? See how the light reflects off of it? So if I turn the light, see how the color kind of changes? It's like it's reflecting off those little flakes. So yeah, that's another cool rod right there. Look at that. It's a bird. That's what it looks like. Oh, it looks like a bird. <laughs> but yeah, so when it, when it don't have a light on it, I mean, yeah, it looks neat, this or that, but man, you put a light on some of these, it makes it that much more beautiful, and I love them. So here's another one. So we're going to see what this guy looks like. And again, I haven't even washed these off yet. So, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool, huh? So you got to flip it around, find those shiny points. See? It just depends how the light hits it. But yeah, like I said, just by itself, you wouldn't think much of it. You know what I mean? But you hold it to the light... Beauty, beauty. So here's another cool one. Let's see. Yeah, there is a lot of sandstone. Especially around here. <laughs> so check these ones out. I can't recall what this is called. It's that blue like stuff. But we're going to put this on a light. And we're going to see what it does. See if we can get anything out of that. So here's our flashlight. Check it out. Eh? That's pretty neat, huh? Check it out.
It's amazing. Just amazing. Night sticks. Make walking sticks with stones on the tops. Like a scepter and put a light. That's a good idea, bro. That is a very good idea. How come you couldn't come up with these ideas when I was there at the house, bro? <laughs> That's still a great idea. And for anyone know, or if anyone wants to know, so A Street, I've known him for about five years, a little over five years. He's like a brother to me. We're like family, family, blood family like type. So that's my bro right there. Same with neighbor Paul that's sitting next to him. He's family too. So we're thicker than blood. Let's put it like that. <laughs> We've been through it. So yeah, which made us stronger. But yeah, definitely. So you and Paul come up with these ideas, bro. And like I said, uh, we'll, we'll get something started. You know, I'm sure all these great people in here will help support us. Yeah. You know? But yeah, so we're all trying, we're all doing what we're just doing. You know what I mean? We're doing the best we can. So yeah, hopefully uh, we're going to come up with a business. So that's our idea. You know, that's our plans. Some type of business somehow we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. You know what I mean? So we can stop working for the man and work for ourselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we all love to work. So there's some more rocks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got some more somewhere. Petrified wood. Let's hit it with the light. Let's see. See? Nothing. <laughs> nope, nothing. So yeah, if I ever find a piece of petrified rock that glows, I'm keeping it forever. <laughs> Definitely. So here's a white piece with some other colors in it. Petrified wood. I like the white. So here's got white in it. Look at that. Pretty good stuff. Pretty neat, you know? Paul says, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Love you. <laughs> Shoot. Love you too, bro. I'm glad you guys came and joined the channel. Yeah, we do. Definitely hands on. So hopefully Paul can make it out here. <laughs> and you, you know. So here's our little flat rocks. No glow in the dark though. Petrified wood's still good, I guess. Yep. Got some more goodies. Check this piece out. Got some black purple crystals in there. Petrify wood. Another chunk. Let's see. Oh, got some more. Check this out. <laughs> you can say hi. If you want.
I launch Hi, what's up? Well, tell Paul I said hi. <laughs> All right. So check it out. <clears throat> so here's some more. That's got blue stuff in it. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> So this is petrified wood. Rusty. Now, what's interesting is that Rusty. there's this stuff called ocean beach rock or whatever. And that's what this blue reminds me of. Now, what's interesting is like I found it in a uh, iron rock, or it looks like iron. <laughs> and uh, the blues, the ocean blue stuff is in usually those rocks that I've seen so far. I've never seen it in petrified wood. It's in petrified wood, and I've never seen that before. So this is petrified wood with that ocean blue rock in it, or whatever that rock's called. <clears throat> like, big blue. All that's blue right there. Petrified rock with some gold. So, yeah. So, that's that one. And then, like I said, we need to clean these up. But, ocean blue stuff. Petrified wood. What's interesting is that that rock usually glows. So, we're going to hit it with the light here in a second. Just to check these little pieces out. Petrified wood with ocean blue stuff. So, I've never seen that before. Here's petrified rock. Here's that blue stuff. So maybe the ocean blue rock stuff was from trees. I don't know. But here's a huge piece. I like this one right here. Look at this. Petrified wood. Are you getting hungry? Yeah. Burritos? Yeah, burritos sound good, huh? Mm -hmm. This one's red. So let's see. Ugh. So no glow. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this right here was a pretty good piece. So it looks like bark. The bark. And here's the tree part, you mean? And this here would be the bark. That's what it looks like. Really cool. Pretty heavy. So I'm struggling. <laughs> shaky. All right. So that's that one. It's not even that big. Look, so like size of my head maybe yeah about the size of my face pretty good chunk heavy heavy stuff Ugh. all right so we're gonna hit these with the blue light or blue light led whatever this is it's a bright light all right let's check it yeah see kind of close Now, what's interesting is that it's shining yellow instead of blue. I wonder why. See how it's bluish? But it's shining yellow. <laughs> Very interesting, huh? I think it's interesting. Let's see. No, I guess that one's too thick, see? Won't shine it, won't shine through a little glow on the edges. So not the shine we're looking for, but it's still petrified wood Oop. with blue. So that's a good one. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Bunch of blues. 
need better lighting. <laughs> no glow so I really like this piece though that's petrified wood so I thought that was pretty neat so yeah petrified woods everywhere around here I mean, everywhere. I can't walk five feet without finding a bunch of it. So, well, that's all the rocks right now that I brought in. So, I got bigger chunks outside, and I should have showed you guys those when I was out there. But I guess that'll be for another video. You know what I mean? So, oh, there, show me Sasquatch. Sup, bro? I have something for you. Hold on. Let's see where to go. Ah. I got something for you and gators. So you're going to love this. Let's see if we can get some light. Ugh. All right. Ugh. This is for you. Uh -huh. And we don't need light. <clears throat> it's pink inside a rock with dark pink around it. The rest is just a rock. All right. But this caught my eye. Solid pink inside with a dark pink rim on it. Can't really see it that good on the camera, dang it. Let's see if I can get a better thing there. So let's see. I don't know if this helps. Kind of give it that pink. There it goes. So this is for you. So I'm going to send this to you whenever I get address or this or that. So I'll probably send you my email. And uh, then you can email wherever I can send this to. So I can give this to you. And then Gator's got one too. His, he like petrify wood. And he's going to show me uh, some work he does with it, right? So this one's for him. Petrify wood. And it looked like a gator a little bit. <laughs> but check that out. Here's my light. Uh, you see that? That's cool, huh? Hope he likes it. Look like a face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that looked cool. But yeah, it's got these little crystals and stuff on it. They're like purple and black and gold. Piece of petrified wood. So, yeah, that's going to go to Gators as soon as I get his mailing thing. So, but, yeah, and I'm uh, probably going to send you some petrified wood one. Oh, I don't know if you were here for it, but all right, show me Sasquatch. Check it out. Pink rose quartz. Boop. Just dropped it on my laptop again. <laughs> a little dirt. It didn't hurt it. Uh oh, what happened? Went in the small. There it goes. Small screen. Nobody saw that, right? Oh, yeah. There's arrowheads out here. I gave my neighbor Paul's mom, uh, Paula, I gave her a badass rainbow uh, uh, arrowhead. It was probably about this big and it was rainbow colored. Fucking awesome. But yeah, I gave that to his mom. She loved it. She likes that stuff. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. I like arrowheads. Yes, I did. Second time, too. Good thing it wasn't heavy. You know what I mean? It was not heavy. So, <laughs> but it happens. 
I want to show them that, uh, where is it at? This one right here, the yellow. Got to hold it just right. And the light's got to hit it just right to get those. There it is. Check that out. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> but yeah. So these are the kind of rocks I look for. So I like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Here was another one too, I think. But check it out. Really cool, huh? What's up, Gators? Shoot. I'm glad you're here, man. All right. Where's that? All right, Gator. So I don't know if you got my email, but <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm going to send to you. Here's your gift, bro. So this right here is petrified wood. And uh, I'm going to send this to you. So I thought it looked like a little gator head. That shark, that uh, like uh, it, it shines. So those are purple crystals and black and gold crystals in there. Let's see if I can hit it with a flashlight for you. Look at that. Can't really get it. There it goes. So that's a piece of petrified wood with purple, black, and gold crystals on it. <laughs> yeah, it's got like gold on it too. Now, I did find a, a petrified wood, right? A huge one. And uh, it looks like gold crystals thick, too. So I'm thinking about getting a metal detector. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so here's a uh, – oh, and look at – look like a face. Ooh. <laughs> So, yeah, that's yours, Gator. That's going to be set aside along with uh, Show Me Sasquatch. So, got a couple good rocks for y'all. And since you came in a little late, check this out. Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Hold on. So my wife found that, and uh, she called it the Eiffel Tower. I thought that was pretty neat. It glows in the dark. It's not even dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I had one more. So show me Sasquatch. This right here I found on my property. What do I do with it? Oh, there it is. And I think it's a raw diamond. 
You can see through it. It's got this like a different, different like texture to it, but it's like dang near transparent, like really good, especially when you hit it with light. Now it's got these little pink veins that run through it. They look like veins running through the rock. But check this out. When you hit it with the light, now you thought those other rocks, you know, just, look at that. Look at that. Tell me that's not cool. You know what I mean? Tell me that ain't a diamond. Look at how far it could it'll glow from a distance, you know? Like, look at that. And it'll still glow. That little rock makes all that light. Beautiful, huh? So I think that's a diamond, you know, a raw diamond. Like it's it's got a different texture. It's not like quartz, it's different. <laughs> and get a diamond tester too. <laughs> okay, well, for anyone that needs the email, here's my email, okay? It's uh S A P O M A R T I N E Z. Capital S. Okay. So it's Sapo Martinez. S A P O Martinez. One word. 676 at gmail.com. Uh, I'll post it up here. Hold on. Let me. Forgot I can type, huh? <laughs> so. Bam. There we go. So how do you do that? How do you make a super chat? I don't even know how to do any of that. Um, I don't know. I guess next time I'll just put my uh, cash app or something. <laughs> I guess I don't know how this works. I honestly don't. But uh, there's the Gmail. You Google it after. Okay. Yeah, dude, let me know. And I'm trying to, like, show my screen. So, like, when I'm on YouTube Live, bro, I'm trying to, uh, so, like, whatever I'm researching, right, like, Google or YouTube, I want them to be able to see what I'm seeing while I'm, like, down here in this little box. Someone said, uh, Catfish and some other people, they told me uh, two laptops will do that. And uh, someone told me there's an app I can use. Uh, I'm still learning how to do this. But I want to be able to go on YouTube, but... You know how you see streamers out there, you know, and they're doing their videos like reaction videos and they could show you what they're reviewing. And then they're like down here in a little box. That's what I'm trying to get going. Oh, that's what's up. Heck yeah, my father, he's from uh, Mexico City, but he lived in Texas most of his life. Andres Rivera Martinez. That was my father. Uh, Zorro. Uh, he did the... Uh, movies and stuff in uh mexico he was in the middle of those before he died but they held a parade for him in star county he rode all, uh his horse and stuff from california to rio grande city and uh it was for the zorro and our family and stuff longoria but that's yeah there, there's my family that's my father you know that did that that was cool they got songs in spanish about him the uh el zorro Tecano. it's really neat stuff <clears throat> Yeah, my family history is crazy. Crazy. My family history is so crazy, I can't mention it. <laughs> Signed a paper. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, my father was known all over Texas and Mexico. It's crazy. He had a king sword. It was donated when he died to uh, a museum in Mexico. I think it was Mexico City. And then I got a night sword. Really cool stuff. Yeah. Longoria is our family. Well, it goes back to world stuff. It goes to stuff. It's really cool, though. Can't talk about it, though, for some reason. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kicking and token. Hold on. So I'm about to roll a cigarette. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to smoke.
with you. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of cool rocks that do really cool things in the light. And uh, the sky has been crazy lately. I don't know about y'all's. Well, I know a few years I've watched your channels. You guys got some crazy skies too. But uh, yeah. And for those that haven't seen the last video, the petrified rocks, uh, I got a video that I posted up, and it's got huge logs of petrified trees. So if y'all get time to check that out, anybody, y'all can check it out. <laughs> but yeah. So lots of different kinds of petrified rocks and glowing stones. And I thought it was pretty neat. Heck yeah. Oh, check out this one. It's a big old red one. You know, a lot of these got like black crystals in them. Some's got these other quartz like stuff. Look at that. So that's petrified wood too. Very cool stuff. Thank you for stopping by, Sasquatch. Heck yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, there was another a guy from your channel came over too. I can't recall his name, dang it. But uh, yeah, he said you sent him from his channel. Thank you. That was cool. So catch you later, show me Sasquatch. <laughs> then uh, where was those other stones? Oh, There was one here that had a pink eye. Which one was it? This one? No, it wasn't that one. Let's see. I think it was this one. Yeah. Look at this one. Tell me they don't look like big red in the sky with the ring around it, huh? But 
That looks like a looks like an eyeball. <laughs> right on yeah like i've been wanting to do live for a decade now never done it yeah it does huh but yeah i thought that was pretty neat Well, yeah, it's, that's really cool stuff. I enjoy it. This stuff is fun now. You know what I mean? Like before, I never, I guess I never did all this. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, I like it when rocks glow. It's really cool stuff. <clears throat> Especially the Eiffel Tower. That right there is like one of my favorites when it glows. It's really neat. <laughs> yeah, see, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I like the glowing stones. I got huge ones, like softball size, man. And uh, there's pink. Uh, green. I found a couple green ones, but not that many. Those are hard to find the green ones, but, uh, yeah, the rose quartz, pink rose quartz, the yellow rose quartz, uh, quartz, moonstones. Yeah. I think I found a bunch of moonstones. I'm trying to look more into that. Cause I don't, it's hard to tell to me which one's a moonstone and which one's quartz <laughs> or if there's just the same, but yeah, transparent stones. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I wonder how that looks. That's badass. See, we could probably do another channel, you know what I mean? And we can probably team up with some kind of, I don't know, awesomeness or something. I got all the rocks in the world, man. What do you think? Oh, man, that looks great. Show the viewers. A wife just made me supper. <laughs> right on. So we're probably going to cut it here in a minute. But, uh, yeah, I guess supper's ready. <laughs> so, we yeah, a lot of, here's some more pink rose quartz. This one glows real good, too. I like it. But yeah, it's pink. Can't really tell because uh, I need better lighting. But yeah, it's pink. <laughs> really cool. It's not even washed up. But yeah, I want to make like a microphone, a glow in the dark microphone. I thought that right there would be pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. 
forget about it. Mail Paula Burrito. <laughs> Tell them to drive down here, man. Y'all need to come visit. I'll put gas. <laughs> green. So you like the green the most? Shoot. Yeah, when I'm out there, I'll, I'll grab a bunch of them, man. Because, like I said, shoot, I'm right next to the uh, National uh, Petrified Forest and the National... Uh, uh, painted desert or not painted desert painted is it painted desert the painted lands <laughs> yeah all right gator thank you for coming you and show me sasquatch so don't forget to email me so I can send you guys your rocks. <laughs> yeah, painted desert petrified forest. <laughs> Later, Gator. Reminds me of delete laws. Later, Gator. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this is True Skywatcher 2. And uh, I live in New Mexico, about 309 miles from me northwest. Sweet, that ain't even that far. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm in Holbrook. And New Mexico is not far from Holbrook. About an hour and a half drive or an hour drive. And New Mexico is beautiful. Man, we went up there, huh, guys? Yeah. Yeah, A Street and uh, my wife and me. She, we were up there in New Mexico. Freaking awesome. We like Santa Fe. You <laughs> tricked me. Yeah, I tricked her one time. All right, so I want to go to Vegas, right? Uh, we, I seen the sign, and I go, babe, look, there's Vegas. Yeah, we were coming down from Colorado. Uh, what was that place in Colorado? Uh, Walsenburg. Yeah. We was in Walsenburg, Colorado, and we were shooting down to New Mexico. She saw the sign that says Las Vegas so many miles. I told her, all right, yeah, I'll take you to Vegas, and we're gone, we're gone. She gets there, she goes, I thought Vegas would be a little different. <laughs> I thought it had casinos and stuff. It was Las Vegas, New Mexico. <laughs> Not Nevada. Yeah. Yeah, with Q. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good times. But all right, everybody. So thank you all for joining. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, until next time, you know, this is Michael signing out. All right. And as always, stop spraying my house. You know how it goes. All right. Love, peace. Truth, love, peace, and chicken grease or fried potato grease, whichever you like. They both are good. All right, everybody. I'm out. Everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, come on.